this module is beginning of our discussions on differential geometry now differential geometry is a branch of mathematics which is on one hand uh, is a collection of tools from differential calculus integral calculus linear algebra multilinear algebra and on the other hand it has its own tools as well and all of these tools combine together just to discuss the geometry now the word geometry is basically a combination of two words geo which means earth and metry which means measurement now what is uh, roughly speaking geometry so geometry is understanding shapes and distances around us and it is one of the important tool and one of the important fundamental uh, uh, help for human beings and uh, the importance of geometry starts from for example recognizing the face of mother by her baby to unravel the complex mysteries of the universe so all of this range of problems involve understanding the geometry around us now let's talk about uh, some brief history of geometry now the first written work uh, on geometry is by euclid so uh, he uh, wrote down the results that were known to him by people before him and he also included the results that he deduced about geometry and all of these results combined together are now 13 volumes known as euclid's elements and one of the interesting thing is that uh, even nowadays we can buy this book from the market by the name of euclid element and the impact of this book was so uh, important that uh, uh, from 300 bc to 20th century these books have been serving as a textbook in geometry and to, due to these contributions of euclid in geometry these uh, he is known as father of geometry now the next name that appears in history next important name is by archimedes so archimedes calculated uh, volumes of some shapes and uh, which these techniques then formulated into calculus and now an undergrad student can easily calculate the volume of a sphere and surface area of a sphere uh, after formulation of these techniques in calculus now archimedes understood geometry uh, to such an extent that once he said that give me a place to stand and i will move the earth now the next important era that uh, comes uh, when we talk about the history of uh, geometry is this muslim era now uh, it was very natural for muslims to understand the geometry of moon because uh, most of the religious events so they depend on the motion or uh, the movement of moon or the appearance of moon on the sky so it was very natural for them to understand the celestial objects and that's how uh, they, they they form many results related to the geometrical shapes around them and of course the celestial shapes now in this era there is one important name without mentioning uh, him it will be incomplete to uh, uh, to discuss the muslim era so his name is uh, ibn al hasham or uh, al hazan also known as now he uh, discussed different geometrical objects and uh, his most important contribution was the solution of uh, uh, a problem which is now known as al hazan's problem now the problem is uh, a very simple problem apparently and he gave the geometrical solution of this problem so the problem is uh, in simple words if you are in this uh, circular region and uh, you are standing at this point let's call it p then you want to find out a point at the boundary such that when uh, you bounce a ball at that point on the boundary then it will come back to this pre assigned yellow dot so in other words uh, if you have a beam of light and you have a circular mirror then you want to find a point at the boundary uh, or on the mirror such that when the beam is reflected then it should pass through this point and of course very naturally as you have guessed that these kind of problems are involved in understanding uh, the working of a human eye and the most important thing is that uh, the algebraic solution of alhazen's problem was only given in 1965 and of course people also studied other algebraic solutions as well and uh, the most recent attempt in this direction was in 1997 by this oxford mathematician peter neumann 
Now, the main turn in my point of view in geometry was this geometry algebra bridge given by these two French mathematicians independently. So, Pierre de Forma, also known as Pierre de Forma, and René Descartes or René Descartes. So, uh, these uh, mathematicians, so they introduce a way to bridge algebra with geometry. And how they did that? So, they introduced this coordinate plane. Okay. So, what is the coordinate plane? We will see. But using uh, this coordinate plane and then of course, using coordinates in the space, we can discuss uh, the geometry of curves and surfaces using equations. So, this is an important achievement. I would say in the in the history of mathematics where you can discuss the geometry around you by just equations on the page. You can just calculate the things on the page and that will tell us, inform us about the shapes around us. So that is an important achievement of in the mathematics. Okay? Now what is coordinate plane? Let's have a look. Uh, let, let's have a look at a very simple example. So forget about uh, this uh, box okay so if you forget about this box then let's say you are in this plane and there is a point in the plane and the problem is can we describe this point using numbers okay so that's what it was answered by these two mathematicians independently uh, René Descartes and Pierre de Fermi so for example uh, what they did was they introduced this point which is origin and then they introduced this one axis and other axis and this axis is now known as x axis and this axis is now known as y axis and let's say if you have this point on the plane then how can you associate numbers with this point so the idea was very simple you just move in this direction and you just count uh, the length of this direction and then you just move in this direction and count the length and if this length is 2 and this length is 5 then the two numbers that will represent this point is 2, 5, this ordered pair because uh, you are just ordering them just to say that okay this 2 is the distance along x axis and this 5 is the distance along y axis and this is ordered pair because if you change the order and you become if you take 5, 2 then it will be some other point in the plane so in this case 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then 1, 2 so it will be this point so this point is 5, 2 so there is an ordering in this uh, set of numbers so that's why we call them ordered pair so that's how uh, they associated uh, geometry which is uh, you know in this case is a point so point is a geometrical thing so they associated numbers which is an algebraic thing with uh, each other now very simply speaking uh, consider this equation now for example just imagine for a moment that we don't know any calculus or we don't know any uh, link between algebra and geometry that is coordinate geometry so just imagine you have bunch of alphabets y and then there is a, a mat mathematical symbol equal and x square so this bunch of uh, uh, symbols represents really a geometrical shape so that is the importance of this coordinate geometry and of course now if you once again bring back all your knowledge about coordinate geometry and calculus then it is just a parabola in the plane that we can easily sketch for example by sketching the points by taking the points in the coordinate plane and then joining them together now our aim in this course is going to be the understanding of curves and surfaces in r3 so that was the beginning of differential geometry where people started understanding uh, shapes uh, which is curves and surfaces in R3 and of course later on the subject of differential geometry was developed to such an extent that now uh, differential geometry is understanding structures on differentiable manifolds. So what are differentiable manifolds? We will see uh, a kind of uh, uh, some, uh, some uh, uh, hint of uh, this thing in this course as well. Now, uh, the subject of differential geometry has many branches now. For example, uh, Riemannian geometry, contact geometry, symplectic geometry, and etc. etc. Now, uh, the subject of differential geometry has many applications. So, one of the important applications is understanding Einstein's theory of relativity, which involves differential geometry. 
and it has its applications in for example chemistry in uh, computer image understanding in data science and economics and many other branches of science because it is one of the fundamental tool for human beings so uh, so these are just a little list of the application of geometry and of course uh, you can just uh, open any branch of science and you will find somehow some bit of geometry there